Hi, students. In this video, we're going to continue with our discussion on measurements, but we're going to look at, at it from the standpoint of how many numbers do I use, right? So for all my measurements, how many numbers should there be? Those are called significant figures. So in significant figures, when we're looking at a measurement, there are always known digits based on the graduations. But then when the measurement is between graduations, we have what's called the estimated digit. That's what we saw in the last video with measuring temperature, and we called that the doubtful digit. So the number of significant figures or digits reported depends on the graduations themselves. What happens if I want to measure a line and the line's length ends up exactly on one of the graduations? So first, when I'm measuring something, I want to make sure what type of measurement it is, what units, and then I concern myself with the actual number of digits. So I'm measuring length of this red line. My units are in centimeters. Now I look at the ruler and I take an account between four centimeters and five centimeters, there are 10 graduations. So each graduation is a 10th. So the arrow is pointing at 4.5, because that's in the middle of the 10 graduations between four and five, so it's 4.5. Each one of these being a, this is 4.1, 4.2, 3, 4.4, that's 4.5, 4.6, 4.7, 4.8, and 4.9, all the way up to five. So what do we do when it's exactly on a graduation? We know for sure that it's 4.5, but remember we could go one to the right of that for sure those two digits and one to the right was the estimated digit that we call the doubtful digit. So because our instrument is reading to the tenths, we should be able to go to the hundredths place. So well, how do we record that? It's easy. We add a zero. So this measurement is reported as 4.50 centimeters. You have to make sure to put that zero in the hundredths place. Because our graduations went to the tenths, we can go one to the right. That's our estimated doubtful digit because we can read between uh, graduations. So our graduations are to the tenths and we should be able to read it to the hundredths place. So this measurement is actually 4.50, zero. zero taking place in the hundredths place. And we could record it with a level of confidence as plus or minus 0 0.01 centimeters. So there would be 100th possible deviation. So you could say it's, you know, 4.49 centimeters. Maybe you didn't feel it was exactly on the 4.5. Or you could say 4.51 centimeters. The key is you have to put it to the hundredths place, because for sure we know it's 4.5, but the last digit is estimated digit, and we include that in our measurement as a significant figure. So I hope that helps, and after this, you should watch the other videos. Thanks so much for tuning in.